Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is giving me another combo tutorial video, and this time I'm going to be looking more deeply into the future of the game, more specifically the Link Summoning slash Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains era of the game. We've had a lot of information in the last week in terms of how the game is going to be changing moving forward, and we are basically going to have to be dealing with this new Link Summoning mechanic once our national championships end in the TCG. Once all the nationals are over, Starter Deck 2017 is legalized, and Code of the Duelist in August comes out, we're going to be fully into this format and into this new rule set that is heavily restricting on your extra deck access and stuff like that. So, with these strings of videos, they're basically going to be coming out in the next couple of days. With the Link monsters that we have access to now, as far as having information about, I'm going to be going into and just looking at combos that are possible with decks that actually exist now that can actually utilize the Link mechanic to its potential. And the first video that I'm going to be doing here, as you can see with the cards on screen, is with Zodiac Beasts. Now, special thanks and very big thanks to Second Chance Gaming out of Orlando, Florida for basically having almost every actual tangible card on screen here belong to them um, for supplying the cards that are in this video. Big, big thanks to them. But basically, what we have access to here is utilizing one of the first Link monsters that has been spoiled to us, Mrs. Radiant. We have a combo that allows us to end with Dryden and any rank 4 as long as the Zodiac deck engine as it stands right now goes untouched until August. This is all very, very much an assumption based thing, whereas we're assuming the Zodiac engine does not get touched, meaning Rat doesn't get touched. Now, if Rat doesn't get touched, this is very much a possible combo well into the Code of the Duelist and Vrains and Link Summoning era mechanic. But I'm going to show a couple different combos in this video for the Zodiac Beast stuff, and then I'm also going to have some other videos going live in the next couple of days that show other combos for other decks. But anyway, let's just jump straight into the first of the combos and just show you how this sort of thing is going to be structured. Now, the very first combo that I'm going to show you is arguably the best one, and it involves just a single copy of Zodiac Barrage. All you need to start this combo is one card Zodiac Barrage, and it ends with Mrs. Radiant, Dryden't, and any rank 4 of your choosing. Now, you're going to activate the Zodiac Barrage and you're going to use its effect to pop itself and you're going to summon a Rapier from your deck. And now, in your extra deck zone, you are going to then overlay the Rapier into just cards that essentially just do not really matter. You're going to go into your Broad Bull, then you're going to go into your Tiger Mortar. Off your Tiger Mortar, you're going to detach and summon another Rat from your deck into your main monster zone. And then you're going to overlay into your Broad Bull. Your Broad Bull is going to detach your Tiger Mortar to summon your other rat from your deck into your main monster zone. Again, this is mainly taking up your extra deck monster zone. This is why it's up here, because it is occupying the extra deck monster zone. The Broad Bull then, you'll detach your rat, and you'll use that to search for any Zodiac Beast of your choice. Usually it's going to be something like Viper. I mean, you can search Thoroughblade. You can, hell, search Ram Ram if you want to. It's not really something that's really mandatory on which one you have to search. Viper is just the best one, or excuse me, Whiptail. Uh, but then your Broad Bull is going to be overlaid with into a Zodiac Leica. Now, this is one of the new ones from Maximum Crisis, and it is very, very key and part of this, uh, part of this combo string because it allows you to Monster Reborn a Zodiac card from your graveyard. And extra deck monsters, as long as they are being summoned from somewhere that is not the extra deck, they can go into your main monster zones. And that's the important thing. That's one of the reasons why I waited on this rule set to be finalized before I started making combo videos, unlike everyone else in the community. But you'll attach your Broad Bull off of the Leica, and you can bring back literally anyone you want. You can bring back an extra deck monster that's in the grave and put it into this zone, or you can bring back the rat that's in grave that you already attached and have three rats on board, but it literally doesn't matter. So just, just for sake of argument, you bring back the Broad Bull. And now you'll just send both of these to Graveyard to summon your Mrs. Radiant. And now Mrs. Radiant is going to occupy that extra deck monster zone, and it's got your two link markers on it, pointing to the zones directly diagonal and down from it, these specific zones, if you were to map them out. Now from here, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to normal summon your whip tail and then overlay a Dryden on top of it. If you play something like Hammer Kong or whatever, you could just do that as another step just to get an extra material under it. But you'll have your Dryden and then you'll just overlay your two rats that are left over into literally any rank four of your choosing. This will normally probably be something like Dagusto Emerald, but if you're playing a mill strategy like Infernoids or anything like that, you could make Kagatsuchi, you can make Gagaga Samurai, you can do a lot of different things. And this Dryden actually does have stats because you have Whiptail or Thurblade or whatever you searched under it. Now, unfortunately, this combo does use your normal summon. A lot of them will require your normal summon into the future, but this is definitely something to consider. This rank four could literally be anything. It could be Digesto Emerald, like I said, which is probably going to be in most common situations, or it could be something like Dweller, 
Gagaga Samurai, stuff like that. But you now have your board set up and established. And now, unfortunately, if this is Dweller, Mrs. Radiant does weaken it. But it also does give Dryden a little boost of 500 attack as well. So even with, like, Thoroughblade or Whiptail underneath it, it is actually a bit bigger of a body. But overall, it's not going to be too relevant. At least I don't think so. It would definitely be relevant for Gagaga Samurai, though, because Gagaga Samurai would also gain 500 attack, meaning that it would be a 2400 attacking twice. Uh, so that would actually be really cool. But basically, this is the basic combo involving just Barrage, literally a one-card combo. But there are definitely some other ones that are a bit more in-depth in terms of needing more resources. And ultimately, it probably just makes the Terratop engine irrelevant, but I'm going to show you one with the Terratop engine right now. Now, next one I'm going to be showing you is Terratop plus a Zodiac that you have to have. Um, you have to have the Zodiac ahead of time, and it has to either be Thurblade, Whiptail, or Rat. Basically, what you can do changes based off which one you have. Now, it could obviously be Barrage as well, but if you have Barrage, you're just going to do the previous combo that I already showed you. You're not going to waste your resources doing it in this method. So we're going to say, for instance, like basically you have to have Terratop plus either Rat or Thurblade or Whiptail. Now, it changes based off whether you have these two or whether you have Rat, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. But so you have your Terratop, you're going to special your Terratop, and you're going to search your Takatomborg, and you're going to special it. And then you're going to overlay these into MX Saber Invoker. And then off of this Invoker, you are going to change what you were going to get based off what was in your hand. So off of this Invoker, you'll attach. And if you have Rat in your hand already, then what you're going to do is you are going to special either one of the Zodiacs from your deck that you don't care about, whether it's Whiptail or Thurblade or something. If you have Rat in your hand, you're just going to special one of these out of your deck. Now, if you do not have Rat in your hand, if you have one of these cards in your hand, then you are going to special summon rat from your deck. It's a, it's a very important process that you have to go through here uh, to get this to work. Because uh, the MX Saber Invoker is is occupying your uh, your extra deck zone that you have access to. And you don't have access to something like making Broad Bull or anything before you Link Summon because you are already occupying that zone. Uh, so basically, like I said, if you have either Thurblade or Viper, Whiptail, whatever other Zodiac you have in your hand that's not Rat, you summon Rat from deck. But if you do have Rat in your hand, you summon literally any of the other ones that are in your deck. But let's assume that you have Thurblade or Viper in your hand. Uh, let's just assume that it's Thurblade. Um, and then you're, uh, you're, so you're summoning your Rat from your deck. And so from here, you're immediately going to Link Summon into your Mrs. Radiant. And so that opens up more of your zones to you. It opens up your diagonal zones. And now you haven't used your normal summon yet. So then you will normal summon your zoo uh, monster that you had in your hand that wasn't rat. And then you'll just put it into your gained zone for a tiger mortar. And off of this, you'll detach off tiger mortar to re-equip the rat that went to the graveyard under the tiger mortar. And then from here, it's just a standard zoo play. Uh, putting like just a monster over top and then detaching something that isn't rat to summon other rats from deck. So you'll summon a rat here, and then you'll be able to go into Lyca, detach. Like it basically, you won't even have to really use the Lyca's effect even in this uh, in this combo string, uh, just because of the fact that what you're gonna end up with is you're gonna end up with a rather crowded zone of monsters anyway. Although you can use Lyca's effect in this in this uh, situation to like bring back Thurblade or whatever was in your graveyard. It's it's very much something you can do. You just can't use it as an Xyz material. So it's overall just pointless rather than just keeping it as an extra material. Uh, but then you go into your Broad Bull, Broad Bull Detach. I usually just keep Rat under everything. Like it's that's just the way I've been playing the deck. And you'll search like your Whiptail if you want to. So you'll get your search here, and then you'll be able to go into your Drynant. The Dryden will have Rat under it, as well as Broadbull will have two materials, and then again, the Rats can go into literally any rank four of your choosing, whether it be something like Castell, Gagaga Samurai, most commonly it'll probably be something like Dagasto Emerald, things of that nature. It's all possible with you to do, and this is definitely a much more intensive, like resource intensive combo, because it does require a whole extra card over what Barrage needs you to have. So Barrage is definitely the better go-to option. Um, or even something like, I don't even know what other things would just like establish more zoos on Zodiac monsters on the board to allow you to do this. Uh, but basically, you're just able to do these combos with Link Summoning 
implemented into them because one of the first Link Summon monsters that it was spoiled to us just happens to be a card like Mrs. Radiant that's just so generic in what it requires. It just requires two Earth monsters, which his entire zoo theme is. So you are still very capable of doing these sorts of plays. Now, I definitely, definitely like the fact that Link Summoning is making things have to be a little bit more in-depth in terms of how the game needs to be played, but it does definitely outright kill some decks and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's definitely... Change is definitely not kind to every single party involved, but anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments down below and stuff like that. I definitely plan on doing more videos with more combat tutorials for different decks as I discover them and as I come up with different ways to make Link Summoning like capable to be done in older decks and strategies. Now, obviously, as I already said, this is assuming that none of the zoo cards get touched between now and August because that is when uh, Mrs. Radiant comes out. So if we still have three wrap by then, this is still a very viable engine, um, and arguably probably one of the safest and most powerful ones to utilize during that time frame. So definitely keep that in mind. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook, as well as my Patreon page if you want to support me directly and just find it in the goodness of your heart to donate something to help support the channel and the growth of my capabilities to make content, like a few others already have and all that sort of nonsense. You also will get entered into a monthly raffle giveaway. For at the end of this month, I'm giving away a box of Raging Tempest to one random lucky winner from who goes and supports my Patreon page. So there's definitely that. If you're interested, go check that out. But other than that, let me know what you think again in the comments down below. Thanks for your time. As I've already probably said, thanks for watching. And as always, take care, guys. I will see you in the next video.